to do is so I'd like to show you how to trim the foot on this bowl. Now the foot location is determined by where, when you look on the inside, where the form transitions from bottom to side. And it's at that transition point that you want to place your foot on the outside. I just kind of mark it with my fingernails so I can kind of get a sense of that's how wide my foot should be. Now I'm using the Giffen Grip and I'm going to tighten this up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by just making a line with my fingernail. That kind of indicates where I want the outside of the foot. And then if I make a secondary line, you can see that'll be the inside of the foot. Now, you always start with the outside of the foot first. Lock my hands together. I rest my left hand actually on the top bottom. And I go down from the top. Now once I start going down from the top, then I do want to trim away some of this extra right here. All these ribbons of clay I'll recycle. And for my students, just remember if you are trimming in the classroom and clay goes on the floor, please don't save it. I don't like to save anything that ends up on the classroom floor because you never know what kind of gross things got mixed in it. At home, I keep my trimmings uh, and bag them because I keep, keep my floor pretty clean. Okay, I was just stopping that to get some of those pieces off. Now here I'm just going to round that to a nice rounded outside. Keep in mind a bowl should have a rounded interior, not the flat bottom with a corner. I think that is one of my big personal things that I, I try to convey to my students, that a bowl should have a rounded interior. I just think that when it has a flat bottom with corners, it doesn't look quite as finished. I mean, I always went around the bottom. If I'm going to eat the last little bit of ice cream or get my last couple Cheerios out, I want it to be a round bottom on the inside. Now what I'm doing is I'm going straight down to make the interior of the foot. And then here I'm going to do the inside of it. that with my finger. Again, you could use a rib, add a little water if you need to. Now, the one thing that I see I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to have to go to the shorter arms because these three inch ones are kind of getting in the way and I can't quite smooth that transition there. So I'm going to just use the two inch ones. And for my students, please be very careful with these arms. Don't get them in the slip bucket. Don't accidentally throw them away. When people lose them, then other people just can't use the Giffen Grip. And it's expensive and annoying to have to replace. Okay. All right, so now I'm just going to transition this corner just a little bit more there. There we go. Just get rid of that kind of corner that edge. And now I'm just going to rib that. And I went a little far on that one. I kind of pushed it in on accident because I trimmed a little high on that side. So that is how you trim a bowl.